welcome to the Hyperspace Vault. Dave and Alex is here again with another review. Today we're looking at the Star Wars Black Series X-34 Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder. This is uh, really cool. We really like this one. Um, I'm glad that they made this in, in uh, six inch Black Series uh, setup. We've already got it open and assembled, so we're just gonna do a review of it. And we're gonna start off with um, looking at the box. Here's the box, the front of the box. Um, you can see um, the artwork on it. And here is the back of the box. And Alex is going to read the back of the box for you. So, um, they have two um, Luke's Land Speeder and the figure. So, we're going to do it in order like we did on Ray's. So, here we go. X-34 Land Speeder. Luke Skywalker owned one of these non-script but ready land speeders, but, but speeding land speeders, racing the sand pocket and sun-faded craft across the desert between the Lars homestead and outpost such as Toshi Station and Anchorhead. Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker was a Tatooine farm boy who rose from humble beginnings to become one of the greatest Jedi in the galaxy has ever known. Okay, this set comes with an exclusive Luke Skywalker figure. He's uh, his, He's got a different head sculpt than the 40th anniversary uh, Black Series figure. And he comes with some unique accessories. He comes with a hat, um, poncho, and a, a cycler rifle. Um, other than his head, I believe the rest of the figure is identical to the other Luke Skywalker's that's been released. Um, he also comes with uh, binoculars and the lightsaber. Um, right now we have him displayed as in like one of the deleted scenes from A New Hope at the beginning when he was uh, observing the uh, battle between the uh, Star Destroyer and the blockade runner. But um, first, um, first we're going to look at, take a closer look at Luke Skywalker. Um, as you can see, I'm going to reposition him a little bit. Here is the the difference, or the different head. He has the different hair. I, I kind of like this figure a little better than the, the 40th anniversary. I like the way they did the hair a little better. So, um... In this figure, I mean, I'm not saying this, the head sculpt is bad, but, I mean, I like the hairstyle, but not really the hair color. It's not, it's not Luke's color. From my perspective, it's not Luke's color at all. It's like, yeah, it could have been a little lighter. If they put lighter highlights in that, I think it would have turned out a little better. It's a little dark looking. Yeah, it's like a goldish, blondish, brown, black thing. Whatever. I don't know. Okay, next up, we're going to look at the speeder itself. Um, overall, I like the... the I like this. Um, I think it's um, compared to Ray Speeder. Uh, they got the scale on Ray Speeder like really good. This one, I think, is a little small, as far as the scale with a uh, six-inch figure. Um, the detailing is great, but there is some spots where I feel like that they could have done better. For instance, if you look at the these engine intakes right here they painted the, this mesh in here kind of like a gray color on the two sideboard engines but then the top engine uh, they forgot to paint so I don't know if that was just our particular one or if uh, if all of them are like that now the one shown in the picture is painted and of course the ones that they show in the picture I guess it's probably like a prototype and it looks more detailed in most of these black series items 
Um, but the front detailing is really good. I like how they made this this grill here dirty looking and these spots up here. And then this uh, damage to the front looks really good. They got some paint on it. and The hood does open. And it has these um, little things uh, on the back of it around here that open up that are for me really hard to open up and then they have this little circle thing here whatever that is so I actually know what this is um but if you're wondering what that is I will tell you that is where he pu um puts a gas pump into there to like I guess put gas in his speeder and then you could like uh, see through there, which I think is really cool. But I think what would be what would be better is if they could like if you could like unattach that. I mean, I I've so um, the detailing on that is really cool. You can see the wires running through the engine uh, under the hood there, and uh, detailing overall is really good on that part. Uh, inside, you've got some controls, uh, got the steering wheel, and some displays there. The seats are are pretty good, and um, we've attached. Here's the cycler right for Luke Scott. We've attached it to the side here. Yeah, according to Star Wars Battlefront, uh, that is a star card um, called a cycler rifle. Now, um, those things uh, in like where he drives it. Um, like, they're like little black scanner-looking things. Um, I think they could have done better and put, like, decals inside so that it would look like a real scanner. So, yeah, those do open uh, due to... One like of the said. engines is exposed. The starboard engines is exposed. It does not have a cover on it, and it doesn't doesn't come with a cover. So it ha you have to display it like this, um, showing the exposed engine. I actually like that because um, if you get a, a, a Black Series or 40th Anniversary Sand Trooper and um, you could like, um, not Sand Trooper, I mean like Sand People, like Tusken Raider, you like put them there like in that scene from Star Wars when they were like stealing parts from Luke's speeder um, when Obi-Wan came up to help Luke. Another thing I don't like is these exhaust uh, in the exhaust tips here of the engines are not painted. They're the same color as the land speeder and they should I think they should uh, have some paint on them either black or you know some gunmetal or something give them a metallic look and Another thing I don't like about this speeder especially at the price point that this speeder was which is $60 You, you have all these holes in the bottom where uh, the, the screws are for where they put it together It'd be nice if they put some caps over those to kind of kind of uh, cover those um, and another thing is ours, um, when we opened it and assembled it, the windscreen had a few scratches in it. You can see one there. And I haven't tried to really rub those out yet, but at that price point, at the $60 price point, I don't think that's, uh, acceptable, uh, for the windscreen to be have scratch. It has several scratches in it. I think there's one on this side too. Yeah. And um, at that $60 price point, I don't think that it should have had any scratches in it. They should do a little bit better quality control, you know, if they're going to ask for these prices for it. Now, these are on clearance right now for about, you can get them as low as $20 in some stores if you can still find them. I saw a Ray Speeder the other day still on clearance. Um, and it's a pretty good deal if you can pick it up for $20. But um, the retail price of $60, is, it's a bit much, I think. But overall, this is a really, really cool... I mean, Luke Speeder is so iconic to the Star Wars movies. I mean, it's just really cool to have this added to our collection. So, now getting to the ratings. So, first we're going to look at this Luke figure here. And um, he comes with four accessories. Um, so, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this Luke figure... Probably a, I can't believe I'm saying this, but a 10. I mean, the only thing that I don't like about this figure is his hair. But all of the, 
all the other parts of it, all the other parts is just fantastic. I like, I just love how Hasbro did this. And, um, so now getting to the speeder, um, this speeder, I, I would definitely give it a 10. I mean, it comes, um, with all of these accessories, like the cycler rifle, and, well, not all of these accessories, but just one, I guess, but I, I think one of its, its accessories, yeah, is Luke Skywalker, and, um, it um we actually had to do some assembly on this to put like uh the engines and stuff so yeah i think the speeder is really good good job hasbro okay here we got both luke's for a comparison uh on this uh left side is uh the original luke and 40th anniversary. the right side is let me try to get them both in focus is the luke that comes with the land speeder as you can see, it's a little bit different. Head sculpt and the hair is different. I actually think that the 40th anniversary one kind of looks like Mark Hamill more than uh, the speeder one. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, why did you have to change that, Hasbro? I'm just asking. Okay, now we're going to show you a few... Uh little display options and scenes that we create recreate with the land speeder and some of the some of our figures here we have the uh tuscan raider uh attacking luke got luke on the ground and then we got the the uh, droids in the background um so that's one idea you can come up with okay in this scene we've recreated the moss Eisley confrontation with the stormtroopers and Obi-Wan is saying, these are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> so, um, as you can see in this, uh, where we got bo both or two figures in the sand or the land speeder, uh, you can kind of see where the scaling of this is a little bit small. It's really hard to get two figures seated in it properly. Um, yeah, if it was a little bit bigger, it would have worked out a lot better. But, um, Alex, what do you think? Well... I agree with Dave. It's actually a little too small because once I tried putting C-3PO in the seat beside Luke and it did not work out well. So, like, also the thing is here, um, you can see how Obi-Wan's plastic robe is, like, going above where the, where the, like, dashboard is. So, like, not straight above the dashboard, but where the dashboard is like under it so that's kind of a problem so now we have recreated the scene um where obi-wan is giving luke his father's lightsaber luke obi-wan is giving luke's father's lightsaber to luke and i just think this was a very memorable memorable moment because it's where Obi-Wan is telling Luke Skywalker about the Jedi and how mm -hmm. it formed and how, like, Darth Vader and how he was telling Luke about how Darth Vader killed his father, even though that wasn't true. So... Luke was just too young to know. <laughs> well, I hope you uh, enjoyed our review and video of the... X-34 Landspeeder with Luke Skywalker 6-inch figure. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and like our videos. And um, we'll be back with more reviews soon. May the Force be with you always.